In today's video, I will be sharing two new amazing roleplay games on Roblox that you can currently check out. Make sure you stick till the end because these are some really interesting ones. If you're a person who likes roleplay or development, then this is the perfect community for you. The community is pretty straightforward. It's similar to Discord in a way. For example, you can join up RP sessions here. When you're level 5, you can join up the marketplace and sell a product you have made. When you're level 5, you can also go out and hire people for a project you're working on. Professional developers even get access to this little secret channel right here where they can make their visions come true you can also purchase a subscription if you want to support the community and to get access to some really cool features as well join up link in the description down below so there is this new roleplay game called oakley county that i want to check out let's go have a look all right so as i'm loading into the game this is what i met with this seems like a car dealership of some kind oh wait so you can actually spawn vehicles down here i'm not the biggest fan of this kind of system i've seen it in multiple games but yeah i saw all right i'm just gonna spawn a pickup truck oh you can actually customize it as well this one have bright red oh yeah that's awesome i like it let's get on going hey move i'm gonna run you over man all right so the game itself looks decently good in terms of looks the game isn't too crazy but it's certainly more functional than many other games that get released because it has actual features added to it already i can tell there isn't a police radio base that everyone is just typing in the global chat when they're en route to a scene or whatever but yeah down here you got the team changer and there's actually quite some stuff you can join there are also rather some big game passes here what can we do over here i guess fill up our car yeah you need to fill up your car let me test this feature so yeah you grab the fuel pump and you put it in fuel the car okay that was pretty easy i think it was free as well there doesn't seem to be an economy system in the game yet are we getting pulled over oh yes we are okay maybe i was caught speeding or something let's just pull over then let's see what this officer has to say then hey officer what seems to be the issue today Ooh, the chat here looks a bit different it's very fast though i like that customer chat system cool are you aware you drove right through a red oh dang i must have missed it i'm really sorry about that one it's directly when you type something the text immediately comes up that's awesome yeah of course i will be more careful officer have a nice evening thank you you too officer all right let's get on going i guess that was a pretty nice guy he has left me off with a warning. I'm gonna join some kind of team. Let's get on the gas station employee. I'm gonna grab some kind of uniform in here. Based on what I can see, this is not an interactive job just yet. You're unable to walk around and do your little thing here. But you can't really do a lot more than roleplay here. I wanna join up the fire department instead and see if that has some interaction to it. So yeah, here we can actually type in a call sign. And we can grab some uniforms, some different helmets. Ooh, they got three different ones. What if I put on the helmet here? How do we do that? Oh, there we go. That's awesome. You can also put on all these different things, such as the air pack radio. You can even put on a hood if you want to. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, there are a few different uniforms, as you can tell. I like that. Now, they should do like Paris and add some kind of text over the doors so you know where to walk. Because I have no idea where to find all the different places, you know. Oh, here we got the little anger or whatever you want to say. But I'm guessing you spawn your vehicles as usual by pressing spawn down here. Yep. And here you got all the different vehicles. Ooh, there are lots of them oh look at that yeah that's awesome now if we just keep spawning a few more just to see all these different beautiful trucks yeah there are lots of different vehicles they do look a lot like the ones in maple county but i'm guessing if we spawn like this tank right here and we get inside oh what happened now that is reset for some reason are these rank locked there's something we can get like this little thing here oh it seems like we simply reset when getting in a car that's really weird. All right, let's hop on the Oakley County Sheriff's Department instead and see if that works. So yeah, here you got the different uniforms. You see, it looks pretty basic. Not too bad, not too good. <laughs> you got your little sheriff vest. Nice stuff. Now, I do want to point out that this is still in early development. The stuff might not look as pretty as it's going to be in the future. And now, for the police, I see we have a flashlight, citation book, traffic wand, and traffic cone. But we do not seem to have any type of gun. Maybe they should add some kind of hand handgun to the police team or is that something we gotta find ourselves i'm trying to find an armory because you know i really hope they haven't completely made it so that you have to purchase a game pass in order to even unlock a gun that wouldn't be really fun that might actually be the case at the moment yeah get your guns here gun pass what if i hold e will something happen yeah you need a gun game pass in order to get a gun that's pretty sad that's something i would recommend that they change later on because you know it's kind of pay to win a little bit but here we 
got all the different police vehicles. I like that there are many different to choose from. So we can probably spawn whichever one we want and we can get inside. No, we cannot. Why do I keep resetting? That's weird. Let me ask this guy and see if he knows rank lock. Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me see if there is something we are actually able to do, such as Westlake DOT. But let's find out if there's anything we can do here without having to join a Roblox group. There is a small chance you must join a Roblox group, but we are going to find out in a second here. Let me spawn this little truck and let me get inside. Okay, so on this team, you can actually spawn vehicles without them being rank locked. That's awesome. The tools are very basic, however. I'm not a big fan of these tools. Being honest, the game as of right now, it's kind of in an early stage. You can do role plays. You can do all these sort of things, but you can tell there's a lot missing. I like the option of vehicles, though. Like, I focused a lot on adding vehicles to the game, which is a good sign about the future and the ELS is very nice. They are very similar to Maple County. There's something else that I want to point out to the development team and that's the fog. You can see there's a lot of fog here. I don't even know if you call it fog. Maybe it's like gloom, bloom, whatever. It looks pretty good when it comes to taking photos but when you're driving around like this it's a bit strange because you know in real life you don't really see blur like this. There's a lot of improvement to be made. I'm not hating on the developers. I'm just saying because it's a new game and there's a lot more to come that they should really focus on key features at the moment and then slowly start on adding more vehicles etc. So many development groups actually begin by focusing most their power on adding vehicles, teams and all that without actually making them interactable enough for players to enjoy them. You understand me? Either way, this looks extremely cool. I like that. Yeah, here there's Oakley County Fire Department, Oakley County Sheriff's Department, Oakley County EMS. Now, I can definitely see this game growing bigger in the future. I am not the biggest fan of ranked lock groups and stuff. You know, it brings more realism. It really does. But, you know, the audience is so broad that in public service, it's almost more valuable to keep it, you know, open for everyone. If you understand what I mean. Now, who am I to tell them what to do here? That would be kind of wrong of me to do i'm just letting them know that you know there's lots of focus that needs to be put in to make an enjoyable roleplay game where people actually want to you know stick to it i have ran a few roleplay games and they have all failed and that's why our new roleplay game is taking so long to create because we want everyone to enjoy it directly on release without making the stupid decisions as i personally did before making sure that all the features that are needed are in before even releasing the game i'm a big fan of the cars in the game here i like those els is pretty sweet as well i you know if i scroll through the ems vehicles here you can see there are so many different ones like i could probably scroll for an hour here and there will be vehicles still coming out you need a little bit of that you know uniqueness you need to have options but in the beginning like this i would highly recommend on the gameplay features over other stuff in game for all the civilian teams i would recommend kind of making them a little more interactable so for this one right here you're working at this restaurant maybe you should be able to make some coffee fry fries and do some cooking maybe that should be a feature it doesn't need to be there directly but it would be a cool you know update recommendation from me to add interactions to these different civilian jobs and of course add more features to the game so there's more to do than just drive around and escape from cops you know i think one of the main issues with roleplay games nowadays is that most of them are very similar in what there is to do you know you spawn in you shoot some cops and that's kind of what you do but when you add more features and add an economy system now there's all of a sudden something you need to do you know now there's a task to complete it doesn't have to be anything crazy but you know it's a it's a good recommendation either way i'm very excited to see what this game has to offer for us in the future next up we got leon county yes you heard me right leon county is back on the platform in its classic version it's no longer under the same group but moved to crp and they are actively developing a revamp for the game this is really gonna bring some nostalgia back if you have played it before and i honestly really recommend you check it out because it's super fun and enjoyable not just that but there are actively people playing the game so there's a lot of stuff happening really interesting 